Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I'm Pastor Shogun Baji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. It's a beautiful week and God is speaking to you through me this week. And it's a special time of considering the subject of prayer. Now, prayer offers you the privilege of transformation. You know, through prayer, the Spirit of God can breathe on you, impact on you, and show God to you in your spirit, and then transform you daily to look like God. Amen. Such that you grow in the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18 tells us something very profound. It says, we all with unveiled face beholding us in a glass or mirror, the glory of God, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the living God. So in prayer, the spirit is given the privilege of changing us, transforming us from glory to glory. So it is important that we pray. Now, um, Jesus was praying on a certain day in a certain place and something profound happened in Luke chapter 9 and verse 29. The Bible tells us that as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered as he prayed. Not as he played, as he prayed. The fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white and glistering as he prayed. So when you give yourself to prayer, transformation happens, all right? And it's not just internal. Look at it. It says the fashion of his countenance, that's his face, all right, was altered and his raiment, his cloth, felt the impact of the Spirit of God, so much so that his raiment was white and glistering as he prayed, as he prayed, glory to God. So when you give yourself to prayer, you are changed from inside out. The Spirit of God, you know, is given the privilege to impact on you, to, you know, transform you, to change you into that perfect image of the glory of God. You go from glory to glory to glory to glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. So it is very important, so important to pray. Again, the Bible, you know, tells us in Matthew chapter 17 on the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus and his core disciples were there. And as Jesus was praying right before their very eyes, he was transformed. He was transfigured. Amen and was transfigured, verse 2, before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light, as he prayed, as he prayed. Amen. Now, listen to this. This is very important. Now, transfiguration doesn't happen because you went to a prayer mountain. All right? Transfiguration happens because you pray. Now, everywhere you are is a prayer mountain. You may go to a secluded place, because you want, you know, a quiet place where you can concentrate and focus your attention on God. But listen very carefully. It is not about the place as it were, as it is what you do or you are doing there. See? So uh, prayer here changes us. Prayer gives the spirit the privilege to transform our lives. Glory to God. So I want to encourage you today to take time to pray. 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 Give yourself to prayer. All right? Take time to minister to the Lord and speak in other tongues. Take time to commune with God and make supplications as touching the things that you so desire. And then make supplications for your loved ones. That's called intercession. Praise God. And you see the Spirit of God transform their lives as you pray for them. Amen. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. 